Okay, we're on step number two of building our house. Now we're going to build the roof and the chimney in this step. Now, let's go back to my code. Well, first of all, I just want to show you where I'm going to go to get the, the triangle. How do we draw this triangle? Well, the code for that, Click it. when I click here, it takes me back here to this website. And I'm looking to use the polygon method, which is just a function. We, fancy way of saying a function is a method. And so here's the code. I can have as many points as I want. In my case, I only need three points, but it's going to look like this. And here's the example they give. Um, so what I'm going to do is I just copied from my old code, which is the finished product. This is my finished product, and I'm copying chunks over here. When I copied and pasted it, watch what happens when I run it. So I meant I copied and pasted this chunk right here to add the roof. I'll hit F5. It's like, hey, that's not right. Well, you'll notice I moved this base over because it wasn't centered before. So, for example, if you look at my example in my instructions, look at the house on the screen. The house is over. There's a smaller area here, and over here it's larger. I, I decided I wanted to center the house, so I moved it over by 50 pixels. So therefore, I need to move all three of these points over. And if you look at my Word file where I'm drawing it, I could actually show that because if I were this time, I'll just use draw and I'll just make some uh, little marks here. So my code shows 8300, 200, 220, 320, 300. So 8300. If I went over to um, 80s right here, so 20, 40, 60, 80, and then 300. So here's the first circle, and the other one would be up here, 200, 220. That would be right here, and then it's like, I believe it's somewhere like right here. Anyway, the point is it's wrong, so I'm going to control Z, Z, okay. I need to move it over by 50, and if I put it over 50, Here's where the new spot should be. So it should be, there's 220, 230. So I'm just increasing the X value by 50 for each of these. That'll make it easy. So 80 plus 50 is 130. X value for this one. Oops, I meant 50. I'm adding 50 in the X value. 370. So all of the X values have been increased by 50. I hit run to test it. Sometimes it's just trial and error. Oh, that worked pretty well. And the reason it works so well is I'm being precise because I'm using the graph paper. Now, let's get rid of that dot. And um, then the chimney is just going to be, I'm just going to kind of eyeball this. For the chimney. And I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste my code over. Okay, so I just pasted my chimney code that's right there. And this one is going to be too far to the left as well. So I'm going to go ahead and change the, increase these guys by 50, my X coordinates, so that I move it over to the right by 50. And then let's run it and see what happens. All right, good. However, I want my chimney to be a different color, I like to be brick. So maybe I'll make it red. So then let's go find the red color, and right here I'm just going to pick some red. Like a chimney fire brick red, maybe that looks pretty good. And I'll copy those three. And... All right, let's run it and see what it looks like. Ah, that does not look good because the chimney is in front of the house, uh, in front of the roof. I want this to be behind the roof so it just looks like it's coming out of the roof. So here's how Python works. It does this in order. So first it does this, then it does this, then it does this. So it just does each thing one at a time, you know, each line of code. Well. Oh, and that just reminds me, I'm going to go ahead and show my line numbers. Anyway, 
Uh, so it draws this on top of this guy. So what I need to do is take this code, cut it, and paste it. I'm doing a right most. Normally I do the fast uh, keystroke control C, control V. Um, but I'm doing that to show you guys. Then I'm just pasting it. So now it draws this first and then it draws the roof after it. Let's see if that looks a little better. Yes, yes, yes. Much better. All right. Now before you guys uh, go on and watch my next video, see if you can make a door with a little handle and see if you can make a window. I'm going to go ahead and show you in the next video how to do those, but see if you can try to do it yourself just for fun, for kicks, and make the grass the front yard.